Hello and welcome back to Farm Simulator 2013 in the year 2013. I'm the Gray Gamer and uh, this is our regular episode for Friday, May 31st. And uh, I did it a little bit backwards today. I did the bonus cut just a few minutes ago. And uh, this is our regular video. I, I um, starting out over here at the uh, textile mill where we dropped off the pallets and uh, somebody uh, was nice enough to point out to me that duh if you look up in the top left hand corner yesterday you'd have been able to see that uh, it tells you hit key N to open and close the panels uh, open and close left and right panels so uh, yeah <laughs> I saw it after I uh, uh, recorded the video and put it up and I thought oh boy you're a derp but anyway, uh, I got the panel open uh, to show you that uh, there are no pallets in there. And uh, when I watched the video uh, yesterday, I also saw that uh, that in that one pallet of wool uh, that was left at the farm, at the sheep pen, was indeed uh, an extra. Uh, this this thing only holds 14 pallets, and there were 15 pallets. Uh, lined up so yeah and I want to get this back in place because we've already got okay what happened there oh I hit the lights instead of the okay I hit the lights the F key instead of the D key which turns the truck all right so we're going to take this back to the to the farm or to the sheep pen and get it lined up uh, where it belongs and then we'll get going on our crops uh, it's 5:46 in the morning game time here at golden valley farm operation uh, and uh, well i can show you i reset the crop to slow growth and uh, everything is done except 40 uh, so We'll get going on those guys here uh, in a minute. And by the time we get everybody started and get the course plays going, uh, you know, the harvesters and the... Okay. There's a tree there. So, yeah, we'll, we'll get going on that. And by the time we get uh, done with uh, those crops then we'll uh, or get those guys going then we'll get going on our uh, by then 40 will be done or it's already partially done so so we're in good shape um, I do have a note here from yesterday about our prices so we will be uh, checking those to verify uh, my hypothesis my my hypnosis no my uh, hypothesis see <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have done it the gray gamer should not try to use big college type words uh, so yeah we'll have to check the prices to test my theory about how uh, how things go by gray gamer luck all right so we're back over here where we need to be now let's tab up and uh, get on our harvesters this is the front cornola field and again we're starting the day off in the fog but you know, it's all right. We can deal. Line this up. Hopefully, I do a better time, better than I did last time. Harvest, hire, tipsy drifter. Jump out. Run over here. get this guy going okay 
granola one so what we want we want to manual select that's the one that's moving so that's the right one Says he's gonna wait till the crop levels reached, so that's what we want. Oh, we did pick up all that grass. Uh, for the sheep and refill that, so we're good there. Alright, here's the other harvester. This is field one. I want to go, I want to drive around this way on, instead of driving over the crop this time. And this is our wheat crop, by the way. Um, so yeah, we're going to, like I said, we're going to, wow, there's a curb there. Really making this thing jump around, isn't it? Slow down, slow down. All right. We're going to hire a drag tour for this one. And while he's starting, we're going to run through the haze. Get over here. Manually select. There we go. Drive the course. Actually, I'm going to stop him. And I'm going to pull up. Because I don't want to have any issues with him getting stuck on. any of the equipment or anything. Okay, now he's not saying he's waiting for the... Okay, there he goes. Alright, he's doing what he's supposed to do. Take a quick look. Okay, we're 40 is done, so we're... No issues there. Okay, what we were going to do is check our prices. That's what we were going to do. Alright, so... We're looking for the prices at the port. Okay. Prices yesterday for wheat at the port was 519 and going up. It is currently at 536 and flat. So it actually is gonna come in higher uh, for us uh, this time than uh than yesterday let me get my pen and write that down hooray hooray that's good okay so that one is good so let's see how our luck holds out with the uh with the um barley on field 40. Once I get to field 40, Let's see, I gotta move this out of the way. Oh yeah, this is the. Uh, all right, let me just. I'm just gonna take it over here for now. go down the pathway here we'll take it back to the front farm later all right that's the harvest I want and this is our barley and for barley we want to check the prices 
at the mill. Okay, yesterday the price was 513 for barley going up at the mill, and today it's 619 and flat. So there we go. All right, well, it looks like uh, we came out ahead on, on both uh, wheat and barley this time. So you know what? I'm okay with it. I am okay with it. Stop. Back it up. All right, for Nixon, are you gonna hit the uh, hire the worker? I want to make sure we're laying down straw. Are we laying down straw? Yeah. All right, and we're gonna jump out and get this guy going. And hopefully, he's going to do what he's supposed to do. This is field 40 cell. So that's what we want. Manual search. And we're looking for the dudes that's the closest. No, we're looking for the... That one. Alright, waiting to be filled. Okay, so now all I have to do is the corn uh, field, and that's with this tractor. So what I want to do is I want to change well no. Bunker three and four. I would. No, I actually want bunker. Bio bunker two. That's what I want. All right. So we'll get this guy started and get him out on the field where he belongs. Probably should fill him up first. Gas him up. Um. Because he's gonna need it. We're going to leave what he's got in his, he's got 24% in his tipper right now, but we're going to leave that because uh, we want to get a an evaluation of how much we're going to get off this field um, into the bunker. I'm just doing, filling up the fuel here. Alright. And uh, I've got to make some adjustments to the uh, course play here uh, because I, I figured out or and I figured it out and then somebody confirmed it uh, Shugan Jack uh, confirmed it for me uh, what I was having issues with last time was this guy would would uh, I'd set him on the course and he would say hey I'm waiting for the fill level to to be reached and I was like Okay, why are you doing that? Because there is no fill level for this, uh, that harvester. So, uh, and what happened is that I have to tell it over here. Uh, automatic search, or manual search, and we want the Crone, yes. Then we need to go over here. I'll leave those the same. Start at, and we need to lower this down to zero. Alright, 
now he's going to run through his motions and offload hopefully into bunker two whoa what was that all about okay I don't know what that is guys I'm taking control again Not sure what happened. Let me, uh, I think what he wants to do is he wants to go uh, around and uh, go into the, ah, all right, no, stop. Set course. Bio bunker. Oh. Okay. Well, you know, you got to deal with a little bit of stuff in order to get it to do what you want. So let's go ahead and try this. Stop doing weird stuff. Let's try this and see if uh, we can get him to drive the course now. And the answer is no. <laughs> He's not going to do it. So... Uh, let's go. We'll do this on our own. set that to there so I don't I'm setting it on the tractor so that I don't uh, start or I don't end up disconnecting from the uh, all right now let's go out Okay, why is it only showing? Oh, because I never got the uh, other one going yet. I guess. Stop. I don't know what he's doing. I'm going to let him do it. Uh, did we finish something over here, guys? Yes, we did. Okay. This is, again, this is the front. Uh... Cornell Fields. So we'll move him over. Still got to do our get our back one going. All right, Tipsy, go for it, buddy. Tipsy Drifter. the back one and search automatically or manually find the uh, that's the one that's closest try the course He's going to wait till the harvest level's reached. And we're going to run back over here. Because I par parked the harvester over here on this side of the road. And 
fire this bad boy up. Okay, there we go. Now, everybody is working except for the corn harvester. So I gotta, ah, oh, he's still having his issues. Oh look, we got crop going in. Beautiful. Just tabbing through now, trying to find the, uh, corn harvester. Okay, we got issues here for some reason. So, let me back it up. Or not back up, but let me get this guy. Stop driver. And pull out of his way for whatever reason he came in at a weird angle there I don't know why tell him to uh, drive the course he says he's waiting okay I'm missing why is it not finding the uh, crone harvester have I passed it like 14 times and you guys are yelling at me every time I pass it? No. There it is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the answer. Um, to why my tipper, my corn tipper is acting goofy. I'm going to have to figure that out. We'll get this over here and hopefully, uh, So we got the harvester ready to go. Let me run on back and take control of this guy. Hopefully I can get him to uh, realize the error of his error of his ways here and and uh, empty combine and offload. That's what I want bio bunker that's what I want um, combine that's what I want so why is he going to turn around. I don't understand. I think what I'm going to do is well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I'm going to have to record the course again, maybe. Or let me try one other thing. Reset course. And then oh wait no um 
bio bunker two is the is the unloading. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this and yeah I'm gonna record re-record re the course so give me a minute I'll be back all right I'm back and uh, we re-recorded it and uh, it looks like he's uh, he just went through a cycle of of going to the bunker where he was supposed to and he did that the way he was supposed to and now he's driving to the combine like he's supposed to so uh, yeah let's see if he continues doing what he's supposed to do um, I've got a I've got a tractor caught in traffic somewhere I've got to check on that and uh, yeah well, I don't know. Uh, I've, I've kind of lost track of the time on this video. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish the harvest. And then I'll come back and do a wrap-up of uh, just exactly how much silage we ended up with off of this field. And, uh, and uh, how much we made on our crops, etc. And so I'll, uh, I'll be checking back with you after we get, it, uh, get the harvest all taken care of. I'll be back. All right, I'm back, and uh, this is the last of the silage from the corn. And uh, as you can see, we're at 79% in the bunker. So we're going to go ahead and put the rest of this in. We had this at 90% full. This tipper was 90% full. So, ended up 89% in the bunker. I'm okay with that. That's not bad. 89% off the corn, one cornfield. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, get this compacted down and put a wrap on it and uh, let it start cooking and uh, yeah we're almost done with our last May harvest so uh, let me just pull around here and park this okay we tab through everybody's good Having through here, there we go. This is our uh, Cornola, and uh, so we'll empty that. And there we go. So if you look at the PDA over here, the harvest income was three thousand six hundred and no three hundred and sixty one thousand five hundred and ninety eight and that brought our total up to five million nine hundred and twenty so uh yeah I'm gonna go ahead and uh send the man truck back on his way home and uh, yeah, when we come back, uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna compact that uh, bunker down and put a wrap on it. And then I'm going to, uh, while that's cooking, I'm gonna speed up time a little bit. While that's cooking, I have to, uh, I, I've got all the straw up on field 40 to, to uh, get down to the cows. And of course, I'll be uh, keeping an eye on the sheep pallets and moving them off so we can keep the wool production up uh, good. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for stopping by and checking me out. I appreciate it. And uh, like always, uh, 
feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, any of that. And we will see you later.